Hey guys, we just uh, wanted to take a minute to tell you, to, to talk about something that we witnessed this past week uh, down in DSC, Dallas Safari Club, the convention, the annual yearly convention. And I mean, I gotta tell you one, it's so cool to be in us, to be somewhere that hunting is so embraced, conservation is so embraced and, and incredible amounts of generosity, money raised, to, to not only educate, but also for total conservation. I, I mean, it's just crazy. Vicki and I were honored and privileged to be the keynote speakers on Friday night. And you know, heck, you know us, man. We tried to make people laugh and enjoy the evening and, and I think it worked. <laughs> we didn't get booed or tomatoes thrown at us off stage. So I think that was a plus. Every night was special with the auctions, raising money for conservation and education. But Saturday night was incredible. Very, very high profile individuals were there. And on some of the, on some of the auction was a, you know, a special auctioned hunt. Um, and that was to hunt with these certain people. You know, we are not political, never will be, hate it. Um, just hope we get right, the right people in the right positions to continue our lifestyle, protect it for the futures, you know, the future children to, you know, to be able to grab their little Daisy Red Rider and go out in the woods and, and plink and do fun and, and, you know, their kids' kids. So this isn't about any of that. But, you know, we had the, with the honor and the privilege to, to uh, see Don Jr. again. Yep, now don't, don't switch this because this has got nothing to do politically. But Don Jr., surpassed everyone's expectations. On the, a particular hunt that was auctioned off, I believe it was in Hawaii, it was for you know a, a week or so to, uh, to go hunt with Don Jr. in Hawaii. And he was up on the stage and he was you know, helping to raise the money for conservation. And there were a whole lot of people bidding, bidding more money than we make in a year. And um, as the auction continued, you know, Don was up there and he said, hey, you, you, you know, hey, let's, <laughs> this, is for, this is for conservation, folks. This is for all of us, for all of us and our future children and their children, you know, to continue this lifestyle. And what was really amazing, here is a man whose schedule is way busier than ours. And because of the value going up so high, after the, the, you know, the individuals won in the bid, he turned around and out of the generosity and his true concerns for the wildlife and conservation, he asked the other bidders to say, listen, I will change my schedule. I will change my schedule and stay longer if you all will meet that price and, and I'll stay there you know, for, for a double hunt. And they did it, and they earned a they earned a ton of money for conservation for DSC, and we just wanted to put a reach out, you know, a, a shout out per se, and say what an incredible individual Don Jr. is. Please, folks, just for for what what he did and how much money he raised for all of us. Kudos to you, sir, and thank you for believing and trusting and living our lifestyle that we all live. And I'm not talking about, you know, just people that travel overseas, people that go on big, big game hunts. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about all of us that hunt squirrels, hunt rabbits, that go out and shoot pheasants and waterfowl, or try to. <laughs> you know, just hunt, maybe you just hunt deer or turkeys. This is truly a message for all to understand and to witness and to see what kind of character we have in the lifestyle that we share. Thanks, Don Jr. Thanks, DSC. And thanks to the bidders.